Hey guys, my name is Cidiac and welcome back to another episode of Dead End here in City Skylines. But today, we are continuing the expansions. We uh, Last episode we built a, we actually built two airports. We built our kind of c commercial airport, if that's how you want, passenger airport, that's probably the better way to put it, isn't it? And we also built our cargo airport as well. Now, the cargo airport has a few little issues that we kind of get onto. I couldn't place down the uh, airport headquarters to make our own airline because one of the mods that I use that I need, which is the more vehicles mod. Now I need that. If I uninstall it, my game breaks because it's kind of like dependent on it at this point. But uh, that didn't like the headquarters. It has since been updated and we can now place in a headquarters so we can officially create our very own airline company. How amazing does that sound? And if I do sound a little bit weird, I'm a little bit sick at the moment. But nothing's going to stop your boy from playing City Skylines right now. So, guys, if you do enjoy this, please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're already here, make sure you do subscribe so you're notified when the next episode does come out. So, we got lots of stuff that we need to get done today. Now, the cargo airport itself, I've noticed that there's a big, big, big... Well, it's not that big, but it's starting to get big. Traffic jam coming in. And I'm not sure what's going on. We have a lot of vehicles coming out of here. Right. They're coming out of this train station to drive to basically export the goods, which by exporting, they would be going into here. Now, all these guys are coming in here to then go out. I'm so confused. <laughs> I really am confused with what's going on right now. Is this... Hold on. Do you reckon I need to hook it up to both of these? It's very confusing. And also, they're not using this one. Well, they kind of are. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. No, that's when the vehicles come out to line up to go out. Oh, this is all so confusing. Right, what I'm going to do real quick. All right, let's get to this height. Take it to about there. And, oh, I pressed the wrong button all over again. Oh, down. Oh, down. And let's quickly create a connection. There and there. Which should be all good. How close is that? <laughs> that is shocking, mate. Right, maybe I should do this myself. Maybe I should just do this myself. So if I go from there and then run it to here. And then where is the snap? The snap's about there. Right, there you go. Sweet. It's not beautiful. Don't get it twisted. It's just functional, okay? At this point, it's just functional. So if I got this going in here, I don't know whether, like, one's an inlet, one's an outlet. I don't think that's how it works. I'm not too sure. But if I get both of them hooked up, one thing I've noticed is... <clears throat> Trains leave, but they don't come in. You know what I mean? Which I do find really interesting. So I'm also going to uh, attempt right now to do the same thing over on this side. I don't know how this is going to go. Right, it kind of kind of works. I know this is really, really weird, but just, just roll with me a second. So I've got them both hooked up. I don't know how much it's going to change things. Ooh, ooh, hold on. They're now starting to use this one. Maybe you do have to get them both hooked up. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Right, that's going to cause us issues in the long run. But I'll give this some time. I'll give this some time right now to kind of do what it's got to do. Because I want to take a look at our passenger airport right now. Now, I do want to get the headquarters in. I do want to create my very own airline company. But I need to get it to level 3. So to do that, we already have the passengers. I just need to get the attractive score up. I pretty much need to double it to what I've currently got with it right now. So what I'm going to do is we're going to slightly extend in a little bit of places. So if I extend the taxiway slightly. Okay, you can't take it too far. But then again, if I extend the taxiway, um, I've got to loop it back or it kind of be treated as like a dead end, wouldn't it? Oh, get it? Dead end. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, anyway, so what can I do? 
I could place down some more of the these here, the uh, airport lounge or airline lounge, which I don't think I've got enough room for. Oh, okay, I can do one there. I can do one underneath the uh, air traffic control, which would be kind of nice. I don't want to do any here because it... oh no, I could. If you kind of merged it in with the um, the jetway. It kind of then looks like it's a part of it, where you kind of wait here before you walk down to enter onto the plane. They're all different colours as well, which is really weird. Uh, 800! I've got it up to 800 right now. Should I add a few more in? I feel like I should to kind of just bulk this up a bit more. This one I can't do so, so I'm going to probably pull it just on this side. And do the small ones want it? I think it sticks out too far for the small ones. But I will increase the... Um, the is it ultra modern we've used, or is it just modern? We've used modern, isn't it? So I just need the modern concourse to the slightly extend. Now I don't know how many airport lounges I do want to add in, but um, that should be alright. I mean, it's just to kind of get me to where I want to get to, really, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So if I drop one there, one there, and I did one here, one here. Am I close? Oh, I did it! Yes! Okay, I'm well over. So that now puts me to where I need to be put, and the airport now looks like the favelas. <laughs> it really does. But I don't care. It's done, mate. I can now build an actual headquarters. Question is, where do I place down the headquarters right now? Um, right, how big is the building? How big is the actual building? It could fit in here. It doesn't have to be in the airport. I, that's what I know. It doesn't have to be in the airport. But I feel like it should be kind of somewhat nearby. So if I was able to potentially squeeze this in. Let's say I utilized this here as the road. And let's say I placed it down right now. So yeah, let's go here. Well, for a second now, I thought it was going to break. I've got it in. It's just I've got to figure out a way to connect it. I could actually connect it to this little section. Is that a road there I can kind of connect to? No, that wouldn't work. That would not work. But I'm going to upgrade it to this road anyway. And to get it connected. Just simply like that. So it's just kind of out of the way. It's not a part of the airport complex. But it's just kind of slightly out of the way for now. Which is fine. I mean... I'm not going to expect to see traffic going to it anyway. And I think what we can do then is um, if I go to... Is this my brush for dead end? Hold on. Yes. I can plant down some trees on the outskirts all over again. Just to kind of finalize this all up. There we go. And that's as far as we'll probably take it. Yeah, so many trees, so beautiful. So I've not actually never seen this because I've never been able to place it because of that mod dependency. So this is the first time I'm getting to actually see it right now. Why can't I move this? What's going on? No, I don't want to resume the game. No, resume the game. There we go. Why? What's going on with you? Why, why are you going up here? Move! What is going on with this already? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, well, I rotate and it moves? Well, this is definitely weird. This is definitely weird right now. But, I can create my own airport right now. So, airport, airline, sorry. What do I call it? It's, I mean, this is dead end, so I've got to call it something dead end related. I could call it the dead end, air, dead airline, fly dead. <laughs> that sounds really bad, doesn't it? Dead air. Dead air. Okay. What logos do we get to choose from? Which one makes you look like you're dead? Um, Tropical Paradise? That's quite a nice one, isn't it? And then what colour do I make the planes? Like yellow? Was yellow too much? Like a slight... Golden colour? I want to go for that slight golden colour right now for dead air. Interesting. And we can actually set the airline ticket price. So maximum 200. 
but it just changed the modifier. So 50 is by default, right? Okay, 50 is by default. I'm going to leave it like that and see what happens. So, okay, so it completely resets. No, City Park Airport. What? What was I clicking on to see that? This? Has it created its own brand new region? What's going on? I am so confused to why you're able to see this. But is it because it, this is completely separate to my, my airport in general because it's my own airline? Is that what it is? I don't know. But there is one of our beautiful, beautiful planes. It's a shame it doesn't write actual dead air on the side. But still, though, if you see a yellow plane, it's your boy. Oh, there's two. Your boy's got those yellow planes right now. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I like it. We actually have now our very own airline company. And there's another one about to land. It's, it's nose diving, but hey-ho. I mean, it, I mean like, the land. The land does come in way too hot and heavy right there. So what's going on over here, then? <coughs> As I slowly choke, um, we've got vehicles doing all the business right now. They're able to enter but from both sides. Now, there seems to be here... Okay, there's no traffic lights. Junction Oh, you can change the junction restrictions. Okay, if I allow it to all continually flow in the hopes that it will make them move and go to where they want to go to. Granted, I mean, we need a roundabout. <laughs> Just joking, we don't need a roundabout. But it's starting to move some vehicles right now, which is important for us to get everybody out and about. We'll see how long that lasts. Now, do you reckon I need to bulk up this road to like a, a four-lane road? So the peeps who want to drive down and enter this way, they can. We could do it with um, this style of road here. I could also do an asymmetrical road, which would probably work out a little bit better. Oh, okay, you can't. Is This road's a part of the actual airport, isn't it? All right, if I unhook it. And then do that. That should hopefully change the approach slightly. But it will only go so far as to allow these guys to hear. I think it's still going to have the same issues, aren't we? I think we still might have the same issues. So what's stopping us from doing... Um... Right, maybe utilizing this road to bring it down to there. But like I said, I don't know what's stopping us from... Um, this is a real mess. Another train leaves. Oh my, God, oh my goodness me, look at the backlog. Yo, why do we have all this backlog? What? I don't understand what's going on right now. Do I need to move these? Is, do you reckon they're too close to the entry? I, I feel like they could be too close to the entry point. Of the whole airport right now. Shall we, um, like if I moved it down to here, it kind of keeps it away from the main entrance to allow everybody to flow into the main entrance a little bit easier. But then you don't want, I don't want to lose this side. But then again, I can do the same to this side. I can just kind of move it away. But I feel like that would be kind of weird pushing it all so far back. Well, we're actually getting a train leaving that side, which is interesting. No trains coming in, though. That's the that's the, the weird part that I don't understand. Why is it we're not getting trains coming in? We've got multiple problems. Garbage, policing, which is understandable because none of those vehicles can get in at the moment. So we've got to figure something out right now, don't we? We've got to figure something out. Um, right, okay. So I'm going to pause it. We're going to delete you. I'm going to delete all this train line going back. Good. Bye. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of try and extend this round a little bit. So, airport wise. Um, what size do I go with? So, I can bring it down to 12. I can do a 10 and then run it this way. 
But obviously, you're going to have to flatten a lot of the land. So if I run that, let's just say to here. This is so counterintuitive to what I should be setting up. But like I've got no other choice. It's too much chaos going on. Right, let me redo this. Because that now should be all be at the same level. Alright, bring it to there. Oh, did they not like the double bend? Or is it because of that? Okay. It's it's weird, I know, but this is the first time I've actually had this issue. So I don't quite know how to approach it. Now, what if I had this going down to here and then connecting in? Would that make much of a difference? I don't know again. Again, I just don't know any I don't know anything, do I? I am just that damn foolish. Right, delete all this. Delete you. Can I delete you back a bit? Because I'm going to need a little bit more space. And then place down the train station just here. So, right, trains. Trains, trains, trains. Let's first terraform this because this is a complete mess. Right, I'm just going to go a little bit big on the brush size. Get some better gradients. All right, there we go. And right, so if first things first, then if I try and merge these two lines together, so if I go that way, if I bring this out, so that's 20. And if I just snap it into there, but we'll do it like that. That should be a, a fine 21 marker point. And if I then just try and connect these guys up. So just go a little bit more beautiful. There we go. I don't know how this is going to react. It's just to see what happens. I'm going to add the rest of the um, wind turbines in. So this actually doesn't have any power, does it? I don't know why I put that there. What am I doing? What am I even thinking right now? Alright, power. Airport's got power because it's all pretty much connected. So if I go back to play then, it might mean that they are now will choose to use this um, train depot place, what you want to call it, station. But I want to see how much that changes things. And that's what I want to see. So we'll try and fast forward anyway. Which will now, this will bring in more people or have more vehicles in because it's got more capacity, basically. And if I did the same to this, just relieve the junction restrictions. I probably shouldn't do this, but I just want them to all flow just so I can see where they're all moving to a bit easier and a bit quicker than, than normal. So they're all flooding in. Probably need some restrictions on this one too. But it brings, like I said, it brings more vehicles in. It does mean I'm just prolonging the traffic jam. But at least we're kind of clearing and making the entrance a little bit more flowy. Right? I don't know. But I've kind of, so, I don't know. How have we all of a sudden, how is everybody defaulted to this as the export area? Does nobody use the outside regions no more? What's the other cargo airport like? Well, okay, so, yeah, they're using this. Where did you come from? From the cargo hub? Oh, down here. This is blowing my mind. This truly is blowing my mind. So they're all going to flow into here. So we're just going to have, like, ridiculous backlogs of vehicles getting in. It'll take a while to clear all these issues anyway. But they're driving out. Well, no, they're importing to the Giga Store, which is all the way over here. So, what's the route they're taking? Where are they? Okay, so they were gonna switch over. They were gonna switch over to the other. So they come from the aircraft carrier. They're gonna jump onto that. So obviously, then hit the train. There's me thinking it came from this stand. 
Right, I understand that. I understand that now. With what they're trying to accomplish. But they can't get in quick enough. It This can't handle the capacity to what we have. So it makes it pointless. But then, you know, you're meant to have this type of capacity. I don't know if you are. I honestly don't know if you are. Because this is very slow. But they're all coming in anyway. We'll see what time tells. But I don't get... These guys leaving here... To... You know, export goods. Like, where are you exporting them to? Now, do you reckon we should bulk up the roundabout here to a free lane? Just for now, because... I'm going to assume some of them are not wanting to go. All in the same directions. Right, I'm trying not to uh, destroy my built-in car wash. Some are, are maybe just wanting to go straight across the island, right? That's what some of them are wanting to do. Sort the roundabout out again. So you get some vehicles passing through, but not all vehicles. So they're coming down to here. They're then turning this way. There's not a lot you can do when you've got this huge backlog trying to get in. And I feel like we're going to have it for days. What do I do? <laughs> what do I do at this point? I can't figure out the solution. I literally can't figure out the solution. And the weird thing is, they won't come in via train. I mean, these connections are set up. Why does why don't they bring in the goods via train and then they get off rather than driving in? That's something else I don't get. I mean, I've got wood cargo here. Import into the storage area, which I understand that they're driving in. But why can't they train it in? What's wrong with the trains? They leave via train, but they don't come... That's my issue, isn't it? My issue is that they won't import... Or they won't bring the goods into the airport via train. They're driving it. Which I'm finding really, really weird. Hmm. And even when they do come in with this huge capacity... Their ve the turnaround here is very, very slow. It really is. So if I turn this here, I'm just going to redirect it right now. Just, I just want to see actually on the roundabout how um, how much traffic is trying to go over versus go in the direction of the airport. So I clear this just to make some movement happen here because that is an, that's going to be a big issue. Oh, and all my garbage trucks are stuck to get out as well. Damn. See? Issues. I got issues, boys. Serious issues right now. Um, right. So I can do like a flyover route, which will be perfectly fine. And I'll do the same over here as well to free up the roundabout for vehicles coming in and out to turn. So that will kind of, you know, solve that. Because not all this traffic is for this. Some of it, like, like, like this right now, you want to go straight ahead. So that's what I got to set up. That is what I've got to set up, boys. That is ridiculous right now. I've never seen so much monstrosity all in one go. Right, we have a few things we can sort out. So I'm going to have serious garbage issues for days right now. Airline info. No, I, I don't understand why is this separate to the normal airport. Uh, 16,000 passengers. Oh, my goodness. That's ridiculous. Okay. Right, let's get this kind of semi up and running. So if I delete... I delete, I delete, delete, delete. We'll first set up then the overpass, which will allow vehicles to completely fly over without having to interact with the actual um, roundabout itself. So that's a 10. So I'll bring this up by a 7 by 8. So that's a 10. 
again. We'll do a 7 by 8 again. 7 by 8. That will go straight across. And then we'll connect it all in. And then we do have to create these little slip roads, which are going to be quite close on this side alone. So if I use that little connection tool just to run us into here. Bam. So just kind of keep it as natural as possible. Run that directly down to there. Now, the slip roads are going to have to be elevated, of course. That's how they're going to have to be. So if I ran this one here by six, this one's going to have to be elevated. Oh, did I not elevate that? I don't think I did, did I? There we go. Um, so, elevated. And I've got to try and do it where it's not going to be stuck. Snap into the train line. Right, what I'll do, I'm going to run it directly. Oh, no, that's going to be so difficult to do. Well, how did, there we go. I said, how did I get the snap there? I wanted it there. Right, if I run that to there... And what we're going to do is I'm going to use the move it tool right now just to kind of sort myself out. So if I did that, bend that, bring that out a bit more. That's pretty much not too far off how I want to get it done anyway. So we'll go from here. That will obviously connect to there. So it is a bit mental. I didn't really design this area that well for something like this. Which just means I'll have to bulk that road up a bit more as well. Uh, we'll get into that in just a moment. So that leaves there. So I'll sort that out in just a second. This one's going to be a little bit of a pain as well. So if I go straight to here. Nah, that's not right. Alright, if I run that way. And I've got to do the exact same thing on this side right now. If I go there. All right, run that to there. And then... Oh, oh, oh. We could get that smack bang on. All right, don't care that it's slightly crooked. I can work with it. <laughs> this is so awkward. Right, okay, so that is then going in. This is coming out, so flip that one round. So, it's awkward as hell. It is so damn awkward right now. Right, that's got to go this way. It looks ugly, but just just, just go with it for just a second, okay? Just, just go with it for just a second. Because I've got to get this now working correctly. I know I've got to do a, a bulkier road just there. So, I'm going to sort the roundabout out again now. Uh, we've done the slip roads. So, if I just press play for just a second on this, it will change up slightly right now how everyone interacts with it. But without having that four lane road, it will just bottleneck again at this point. And then we eventually get the, ba the backlog coming down here, stopping everyone from going straight. So, how far could I take that? I could do a symmetrical road just for now to kind of ease it. Do you reckon that's a good idea? Yeah. I'll just do a symmetrical road for now then. Because it's still a highway. And it should give us a little bit of breathing space. Just making sure that's all on the right side. Yeah. So that should give us a little bit of breathing space and allow us to still have the vehicles fly over. Which then will alleviate the some of the traffic in general. I've got to do the same thing on this side, which this one should be a lot easier to do. But I need the same thing to happen here to allow 
if you're going straight over they'll use this one's a bit different because we're using the overpass here to bypass the roundabout so the vehicle traffic uh can freely move this one's the opposite we're putting the traffic on the overpass so we can use the roundabout because my garbage trucks are struggling to get out at this moment in time now that's gonna be causing backlogs on my highway which is ridiculous but um it's it's blowing my mind this it's blowing my mind how they just don't want to use trains to import to the airport. It's just solely to export it. Like, what's the point in the planes then if you're going to just throw the goods on a train? You know what I mean? I don't know. This game, this game annoys me at times. Right, pull that back. Pull that back. And let's just quickly get it all set up then. So this one I can obviously do a little bit better. I can do it properly, this one. So we'll go back by the... Is that the 10 mark? It's 11. 10. 10, yeah. Do the same again. We'll do 7 by 8. Fine. All right, is that the 10 mark? That is the 11. There we go. Um, oh, that one's an 8 there. Okay, we'll go 8 by 8. That's fine. Straight across... And then we'll lead this down by another 10 there, another 10 there, and then that's when we're going to bulk into the four lane just here. So on this side, we are wanting to, I'll do a, like a, a five, I'll do a same just there. Five, five, and obviously that one's going to go this way. So quickly connect these up. Bam, bam, bam. And then we got to go for the... I've done it there. That's a 10. That's a 10 as well. Wow, that feels a lot longer on this side. It does feel a lot longer on this side, but... Hold your horses. Alright, there we go. Always go for the roundabout because you can kind of set up exactly how you want it. So that is all going the right way. That's not. So that's going that way. Sweet. So then with the power invested in your boy, we just utilize the move it tool. Let's create those better angles. So we can create the smooth approaches and exits onto this. So that's definitely a lot better. That is definitely a lot better right there. We'll quickly sort out right now <clears throat> the lane management. And we'll redo now the roundabout. There we go. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> so now we're back into play mode. So once this roundabout kind of quickly clears for just a minute, our garbage trucks will then be able to exit. They should then be able to exit. So it will take a minute or two. <clears throat> For the traffic to kind of settle and understand what's going down. But at least vehicles can now get out of this area so much easier. Apart from the ones who are trying to go down this way in general anyway. But it is a um, a four lane road. So at some point there should be like changing lanes. You know they can't do it at the minute. So it's set up there anyway for when it does start clearing. So this is really strange isn't it? Like, I completely understand that you're trying to export the goods, but, like, why this? Why this airport as opposed to anywhere else? Like, look how quiet it is right now for cargo trains. They just don't want to use cargo trains, do they? Like, anywhere else? Is there a bug in the game or something where if you place down one of these, it completely bypasses and ignores any other cargo station that you have is that what happens because it just it just feels so dead the train line they used to be hustling and bustling now they just feel super dead it's weird isn't it I mean they're bringing goods into here but then they'll transfer those goods via vehicle into there why do they not want to bring in? Now, do you reckon it? Maybe I've got to bring the train line in this way. 
But then again, that's set up that way, and no trains come in this way. Trains can import and export goods from here. No, they can't. <laughs> Why? Why are you lying for? You're actually lying to me right there. And the fact that this is so slow is even more annoying. Now, what if I push this back? I need to double both sides of the train line. Well, let's try that now. So, delete this. Alright, I got something else I want to try. Delete. And I'm actually going to delete... That road just to here for a second. I'm going to add it back in, but just so I can extend this a little bit. So, -da -da -da. I'm going to go up by 20, by 40. And if I dropped a train station there and there, so I got double. I've got double, and because it's placed both sides, these two, these two ends there are practically these two ends here. Right? So, delete you. I've got a water tower there. I've got to move all this stuff, don't I? Alright, delete the water tower. Is it only... No. The water's connected all the way up, so we don't need that water tower. Just got to reposition this firehouse. Nice. So this is an obviously a no-no for what I'm about to do, but I'm not seeing any train traffic at all, so it doesn't matter. Honestly, it doesn't matter at this point. So train lines are all connected. Granted, that's a little bit of too close of a connection, but like I said, I'm not seeing any trains coming in here, so why does it matter? Alright, so I'm kind of doubling up. And I'm just going to run this. Just a something like that. Just to kind of keep it going. It doesn't really matter. So they're all now going to freak out with what's going down. Oh, they actually can't get in the area now, can they? Oh, can you actually... Con Hang on, let me take that away. You can actually connect to this. Oh. Would I want them to? It's probably the other answer. No. Right, bring that to there. To there, to there. I'm going to bring this out. To there. Bring that out. To there. Right, there we go. Right, you're back in business, boys. You can do what you need to do. I just want to see what happens. <clears throat> I just want to see. I'm intrigued. Right, you'll have the power now. You'll have the power. I'm still shocked how they don't want to use this one. But anyway, that's going to um, free up some space. Not a lot. Not a lot. Don't get me wrong. Not a lot. But there you go. It will free up some vehicle moving space. I wonder if they'll utilize both sides. Or if they're still going to only choose one side. How far back does the traffic go? I just don't get it how they don't want to import with trains. If they could import with trains, like, that is fine, that connection. That connection there is fine. I mean, we know the connections are fine because trains can leave. None of it's one-way traffic. So I don't know what to tell you. I honestly don't know what to say. We'll just see what happens. So as times go on, they might start using this. But nothing's really changing, boys.
nothing is really changing. Let's be honest. Now, you can't throw, like, this at the back, for example. Is that the, which is the small one. And have them use the back side of it. Yeah, if I do that, like, just for the funsies, because that will kind of show us if we can use, like, the back side of it. I don't think you can. <clears throat> But it's just be interesting to see. We have got ultimate cargo traffic right now. We actually have ultimate cargo traffic. Again, all because they don't want to use a train. Okay, weirdly we can export there. But no vehicles are going in that side. Or because they don't want to bring the goods in via train. Right, lots of trains are now leaving, interestingly. But it's always that one side. Oh, wait, hold on. It's always that one side that goes out. So, would that mean... No. No. If this does what I think it's going to do, I will cry. No way, because I noticed on the side of the crates, they drive out here. They drive out. So I've now added a line going around on the opposite side, the inner side. And I've switched it over to this side. So if I start seeing trains coming in this way, I'm going to hit the roof. I'm literally going to hit the roof. I'm going to be so mad, so angry. Because they, they, they don't tell us to do that, do they? They don't tell us that's how it's got to be. Um, air style could be built in place for cargo trains to load and unload. Or raw materials to place alongside. Place along the, a roadside. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Do I then have to replace all of these with this? Is that what they're saying? Is that what they're saying at this point? No. It can't be. I am so confused. I am so confused. It is unreal how confused I am right now. I didn't realize that you could place that outside the airport area. Which then makes me real, well, kind of wonder whether I have to replace these... For then goods to be transported to these. Does that make sense? Hmm. This is pointless. <laughs> it really is. Um. I suppose there's going to be only one way to find out. And that's to get rid of this one. So if I place that there, and then we literally just have that do that for now. I just killed off all this traffic, by the way. Uh, I want to see what happens. Because if this don't work, then I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I'm truly flabbergasted, boys. <laughs> That's the official term I'm using right now. 
I mean, that train's coming steaming in right now. Where are you going? You're probably going straight to Port Exporto, aren't you? Yeah. <gasps> no! You better shut the front door. You better shut the front door right now. No freaking way. No, no, no. If this goes down here, round and in. <gasps> Hold on. <gasps> what? So there is an in and an out route. Why does the game not tell you this? Right, no wonder this is now not working. Right, I'm going back to normal. Which is my cargo. To, there we go. Cargo. Bam. Um, what in the world is going on? When you can import export. <coughs> but they don't tell you it's got to be on a certain side. Another one's coming in. Oh my god. So it now works. So this backlog I got will take a while to clear. But we should start to see less vehicles pulling up. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So having it here then does not work. Does not work one bit. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Should we we should start to see then a lot of vehicles, a lot of trains, sorry, making their way in. I did not realise that's that you could do that. Now come on, be honest with me guys. Did anybody else realise this? Or is everybody else is uh, how many people are doing it like I'm doing it right now and having these same issues? If you did know all about it, and you're such a damn smarty pants right now, don't want to hear it. Because I am shocked. Absolutely shocked right now. Beyond belief. So this backlog will take so long to clear. It definitely will take so long to clear right now. But at least we understand. At least we understand. So... I've got to do the similar thing over here as well. Make them import this side too. I mean, having one import should be at the minute okay. But it's going to take a while to see a, a few more trains. I can't believe we just had two trains coming in, but now there's no trains whatsoever. So, does that mean all of our export areas right now will start to look a little bit more busier? As we're now able to actually import the goods to this section. I don't truly know. I'm still waiting for another train. But that backlog is slowly starting to get a little bit bigger. Guys, hit the trains up, man. Hit the trains up right now. I'm waiting for another cargo train. Where are my cargo trains at, boy? Oh, I'm triggered. I'm raging. I feel like I need to rage quit. Um, right, cargo trains. Where's the next one? Okay, here's one. You're transporting to here. Okay, you're not really going anywhere of of interest to me right now. Oh, water. Oh, water. I have water. What's going on? I mean, the only thing I did is got, I deleted a, a tower over here. Do they want that tower back? I mean, I'll give him. Do you guys just want a rogue tower? I'll give you a tower if you want a tower. There you go. Leave me alone. Um. Right, I've seen no more cargo trains. Is it now broken all over again?
Hmm. I don't understand it. Truly. I don't understand it. There's a cargo train there. Going to here. Now the only thing I did different since them two trains came in is I got rid of this and placed it with this and then two trains appeared. Nah, that can't be the reason. That can't be the reason. You're going to have to let me know in the comment section, guys. What is going on? I thought we fixed it. I don't think we have. I now want to cry. And on that note, we're going to end it here. <laughs> Hope you guys did enjoy this. Getting triggered with your boy right now. Until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good.